Yo, 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 yo. What up, guys? What's good? It's your boy, your main man, GBT. Back to you guys again with another product review video. This time it's of something completely different. It looks like a power drill, but it's not. This is actually a soldering, it's a handheld soldering gun, okay? It's a solder gun kit, all right? And it's called the Weller Solder Gun, all right? Now, this one packs 8200 PKS. It's made in Mexico. It's between 100 and 140 watts. It generates 120 volts and it's sensormatic. Okay? If you have any questions, just go to the website www.apextoolgroup.com and uh, they'll be able to help you out there if I can't help you enough in this video. Now, once again, it's called the Weller, all right? And it's a universal soldering gun, okay? Between 100 and 140 watts, as it says there, okay? Now, it comes in this nice little handheld case. And quite honestly, guys, I don't know how old this one is. I think this one's got to be at least, you know, 4 to 10 years old, maybe even older. I'm not exactly sure when it came out. But as you can see here, you do get the standard American plug with everything in here, the gun itself, okay? And I already got the tabs open at the top. So basically, I'm going to show you how it closes and opens, all right? So you just snap them into place like this. And you got a see-through plastic, you know, glass type of thing, okay? So for, for the protection of the, of the unit itself. So to open, you just simply pull these tabs open like this, okay? Give me a second. Hold on real quick, guys. Just put the, the face down. There you go. Okay, once you do that, you open it and the screen protector came off. It's all good, all right? So I'll just put it back here where it was originally. Okay, so that's there. And here's the soldering gun itself, guys. So soldering, as you guys are well aware, soldering guns are made specifically for the purpose of, well, from what I know and what I have experience with, which is RC cars, it's good for using soldering guns, or soldering guns are good for being used for putting together, let's say for example, uh, you know, the, the wiring on an RC car's ESC, you know, the, the, the wiring uh, for the connectors to remove connectors and put new connectors on there, whether it's Dean's plugs, TRX Trax's plugs, HPI plugs, doesn't matter, okay, Castle plugs, Soldering guns are basically made for that reason. It's made to, uh, to basically, well, it's not, how do I say this? It's made to basically mold a connector onto a wire, okay? Basically, you burn it and you, or you, you know, shoots out this, this, uh, this silverish liquid that basically dries up onto the wire between the wire and the connector and it makes a proper connection, okay? It's called soldering or soldering. So you can use this basically to solder RC connectors onto RC ESCs, and I'm talking about hobby grade ESCs, okay? So, you know, you can use it for that. You can also use it, I believe, to remove connectors and put new ones on, you know, to burn them off and put new ones on, okay, replace them. All right, so this one, it comes with the cord connected to it at the bottom, okay? Seems like you get some extras right here too. I don't know if this stuff comes in it, okay? This this device is not mine even. You know, it's it's actually, uh, it's my folks. And, you know, I don't own it, but I saw it sitting in the toolbox. I might as well throw it out for review. All right, because that's what I always do a lot of times, guys, as you notice. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take it out of the box real quick here, out of its little case, and just kind of give you a run around on it, okay? So here it is. It does look like a pistol, right? It's like a Glock, you know what I mean? Anyways, so here's the back of it. It's model 8200, 120 volts to 60 hertz, 1.2 amps. Its duty cycle is one minute and then four minutes off, okay? Apex tool group. I don't know what this number is here. 
But you got the trigger right here. Goes in all the way like that, okay? Looks like it's vented right here, okay? Let it air out when it's in use. Same on the other side, okay? Here's some instructions right here. Keep tip nuts tight. And then it tells you in Spanish as well, okay? Pause and read that for yourselves. So like I said, guys, is this a soldering gun? It's made to solder stuff. And it looks like you have a little infrared. Well, not infrared. I think that's an actual light. It's either a light or an infrared. Uh, infrared, uh, what do they call these? You know, that you see on like TV remotes and stuff. Like an infrared sensor, okay? I don't know exactly what that does, but... Anyways, guys, I can plug it in and see what it does real quick. Hold up. <coughs> Excuse me. Give me a second, guys. Just to show you how it works real quick. Now, I haven't really put this to the test, guys, but... It's still a review technically, and uh, I'm just gonna show you guys if that light turns on or off. So let's see what happens. Yeah, okay. So there you go, when you're holding the trigger, this is what's gonna happen when you're holding the trigger, okay? It's, it's like I said, it's a light. So when you're holding the trigger, that light will turn on, okay? And I do smell some soldering liquid, so I'm going to stop doing that because I don't want this to drip all over the counter. Because that won't be pretty. So let me put down the phone real quick. I'll put this stuff down. And uh, there you go. I don't want to... I don't want soldering liquid to get on this surface. So I just want to show you guys that the light turns on when it's plugged in and it's being put to use. Alright? I'm going to put it back in its kit. My overall overview or impression of this device. On a scale of one to 10, I would say it's, you know, seven and a half, 7.5. Would I recommend this specific soldering gun kit or soldering gun in general? Yes, I would. Looks like it will do the job. And, sorry guys, I was saying that while I had the phone on the surface, on the table, counter that is. Would I recommend it though? Yes, I would recommend it. It's a great soldering unit. Good for RC purposes and for other reasons, but in my situation, in my case, I would buy this specifically for the hobby that I'm in. So I would have one of these in handy if I'm involved in the type of hobby that I'm involved in, okay? So if you're somebody like me, pick one of these up, you won't regret, you won't regret it because instead of going to a, you know, a hobby shop and having them solder stuff for $10, $15 soldering connectors on and off for you, you can just buy a kit like this for yourself, right? Now, once again, I don't know if this one's, you know, two years old, four years old, 10 years old, 15 years old, 20 years old even. Do your research, look it up on Amazon, see where you can find it, look it up on eBay, and let me know as far as pricing is concerned. I don't know how much it costs either because it doesn't say here, but I will find that information for you guys, and I will display it under the title and the product description of this video, okay? So with that all being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this product review of the Weller Soldering Gun Kit, all right? And it's made in Mexico, not in China. So there you go. You got some Weller branding right here on the case. All right. It's like a little lunchbox. All right, guys. Take care. GBT is out. Peace, y'all. Much love and happiness. Later.